This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. At the beginning of this video, I'm going to change the page type to modal for one of the pages we created in the previous video. We had a two-page master detail report and form created, and I want to set one of those pages to be modal. We'll also change the modal page width. Then I want to look at an issue that you have in creating an LOV if you're not careful about the source that you pull your list from. So we'll add an LOV and look at the issue that comes from this example and how to resolve that. So I'm logged into Apex as one of the developers. I'm going to go into the developer application and I'll run that application. Now what we created in the last video was a master detail with report. If I click on Animals Processing, I see an interactive grid as the initial page. I can select from this one of the records and see the individual animal data and then the related transaction data if there is any. What I want to do is make this page modal. So I'm going to edit this page and I want the page itself selected and I want to change the type from normal or page mode from normal to modal. Modal being it's going to pop up in its own browser tab and it must be closed before you can work with any of the other pages in the application. So let's save that and run that. Oh, and I, I forget this. It's set up as dialog, so I cannot call it except from another page. So I'll go back to 150, run that, go to cookie, and we see the pop-up here. The other thing I want to do here is I want to change the page width of this modal form. So I'm going to edit page 150, and I will set, for the dialog, I will set the width. And I don't have a good feel for this. I will just modify it until I get what I want. I'm going to try 900, save that, and run that. Or I can't run it. I've got to go to 150, run that, and pick one of the records. So it now it pops up, and I have a better width for displaying the fields. And this may work for me. The thing I like about modal is I can see the background page, but I can't do anything with it until I address what I need to do in this page. So I have to close it. So I'll close this. And then I guess I'll reopen it because now I want to edit this page again, not in terms of being in the modal form, but I want to deal with trans type. So I want to edit page 151. And for trans type, let me pull up the data model here, the data dictionary. Now this is the data dictionary including the LOVs and for transaction we don't have any reference tables or lookup tables. When we were creating several static and dynamic LOVs I did not do anything for trans type but we want to have a list of values for trans type. So I will come back to the form keeping in mind that the top half is the animal data that's the master, and the detail section is for transactions for that animal. So the trans type right now is just a text field. I want to switch that to a select list. Come down, and if I don't have, and I, I've already looked, I don't actually have, let me show you here, I don't have a list of values for this either, like a static LOV, which would be the best thing. Let me open up 
the application again in a separate tab, go to Shared Components, List of Values, and if I look down through here, I don't have a transaction type. So I'm going to use this opportunity just to illustrate how you could use your SQL query. So in SQL query, I could enter this code. If I don't do distinct, and we test the validity of this code, and it says OK, valid, and I click OK, then I can save that, go back to my calling page, run it, go back to my record, and I have a distinct problem here in that I'm getting a list in the LOV for every record in the transaction table. So I'll edit this, go back down to columns in the detail section. So for trans type, I'll add distinct. So I'll do this and it will look like it's okay, but you still have a problem. Let's run this, save it, go back to our calling page, run it, and go back to cookie. So here I have my transaction type intake. And if I wanted to edit this, or add row even if I wanted to do that, and I come in here and get my list, then I have my list of values. This list of values is based on data already in the field we're trying to populate, and that's not a good way to do this. It's not a valid way. For one thing, I don't have any other way to get another option. If there was another option here, unlike a static LOV in the shared components, I can't add something here. Even if I could edit this so that I could type something in, you don't create your list from the very field you're trying to populate. That's, I guess, my primary point. So what I need to do now is close this form. I'm going to create a list of values. I guess before I do that, I will go to SQL commands and see what my intake, what my transaction types are currently. So I'll do a select distinct trans type from transactions and run that. So we have these four values at this point. I can now go back to the application shared components, list of values, and create that list of values. I'm going to do it as a static LOV. So it'll be LOV trans type. My options are foster, what I'll display as well as what will be stored and they're the same thing, the same text. Create that list. Go back to Page Designer. I'm in 150. I want this to be 151. So I'll just move to that page without opening it as an application. Go down to my columns in the detail section. Trans type. I have it as select list. I just need to come in now and switch from SQL query to shared component and select the thing I just created, which is LOV trans type. I can save that, go back to my calling page, run that, go back to the record for cookie, scroll down, and if I wanted to add a row, I now see my options, which are off the recording screen, but I see my intake options. And if I need to add a list to this, I can do it myself if I'm a developer or make a request to the developer if I want something added to that list.